What is up guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo, and finally, after some time, the Nintendo Switch receives another must-buy title. I am over the moon and back about this game. It is so freaking fun, it is so freaking good, it is so freaking addictive, and it comes in at such a good price, $12.99, and you get one of my absolute favorite Switch games, and that is the graceful explosion machine it is the most chilled out but simultaneously intense but also beautiful but also incredible but also sometimes infuriating but also in such a good way oh let's just play this is really really a fantastic game kind of came out of nowhere for me um it is an indie title and we're going to jump into a level uh and show you exactly what it is. You're a little ship, okay? It is an arcade game, and you are blazing and blasting these little enemies. Basically, your home planet was attacked by aliens. All your ships were attacked by aliens in mid-flight, and uh, now you have to basically take the fight to them. You're the only survivor, it looked like, and we gotta really bring the pain train to all these little alien bugs. It controls beautifully on Switch. Uh, you have three different, we well, four different re weapons, really. You got this basic blaster here, you got this incredible energy sword, you've got missiles, and you also have a laser beam that's kind of like a sniper. You can swap which way uh, your ship faces and you move through the level interestingly enough the levels kind of wrap around you'll see how it's a, a flat uh, line up there up top and it's because the levels they wrap so the left side connects to the right side kind of in like pac-man fashion or old school fashion and this definitely has a lot uh, it borrows a lot from old school arcade shooters and titles but it also has just a vibe and a spirit all its own and you can tell by the bright colors and the awesome graphics that they really went out of their way to make this thing look special so the way that you play uh, these levels are all like this with different variety of enemies different kinds of enemies all coming at you different difficulties of enemies and you have to use your different weapons to take them all out now you'll notice a big yellow bar at the bottom that big yellow bar is my special attack meter and every single attack I do requires that except for this basic blast so if I want to use the energy sword, boom, it takes some of the meter. If I want to use my missiles, it takes some of the meter. And the way I replen that meter is by collecting these amazing yellow crystals. You also have a dash. Now you can dash through enemies, but you can't dash through bullets. That is a perfect wave. There are three phases, three waves per level, and they get progressively more and more difficult. And your goal is to build up the multiplier, kill as much as you can, and get a high score. Rarely does a game nab me on the high score hunt. I'm not really a whole, a whole big high score hunter, but this game is so fun and it's so satisfying when you do get uh, amazing runs and you do get amazing multipliers, you do get amazing kill streaks, you do get these amazing uh, just runs through the levels and amazing perfect phases. It feels so darn good that I am constantly restarting and going for a better score. And this game makes it a whole lot easier to do that. Um, because it is so quick on the reload. You can get back in really quick. And it's, it's not a very intensive game, right? There's not a whole lot of uh, stress going on to the Switch when this thing is being played, but boy, oh boy, is it fun. And let me tell you, just to ease your concern, it is more than a mobile title. You may see it and be like, oh, is this a mobile title? I'm getting choked up, it's so good. It really is a gem, uh, and that is the abbreviation for the game. And boy, oh boy, were they right, because this is a gem really unlike uh, you know anything since snipper clips or uh, Legend of Zelda for me this is the the third must buy title I think on the Nintendo switch and if you are a fan uh, of frenetic fun if you are a fan of beautiful uh, explosions if you are a fan of really good music that never seems too intense never really gets in the way but is there to just keep your journey and keep your your high score quest going this is the perfect game and like I said at 1299 it's an absolute must freaking buy. I'm very passionate about this game, and I didn't even know what it was until I got it. I, I had no idea what kind of game it was. Um, I, I got a review code. I'll, I'll let you know that, so I didn't pay for it, but I am going to be buying it uh, for my girlfriend, so I do give them money, because it is totally freaking worth it. Um, and I just love that it takes a simple idea and executes it so perfectly. I haven't had this much fun with a simple game um, since Tilt to Live. If you guys know what that is, it was an iPhone title years ago, and it was a really high score hunt type game where you had different abilities and you were constantly moving around. And this game is reminiscent of that, but I feel it is it is a more polished uh, and, and almost more enjoyable version because of the fact... No, I almost had a really, really perfect 
perfect, perfect level. Because of the, the production values, because of the fact that it is a you know game on consoles, because it does look good, uh, because it it plays incredible, because there's a lot of content, different maps, different enemies, uh, I think it's even better. And like I said, rest assured, this is not a mobile game. I know I'm comparing it in, in style to mobile game, but it I feel like it has a, a whole lot better... Um, just the, the presentation, the production value is is worthy of a console type downloadable as compared to a, uh, a mobile. Um, it is available on other consoles, but the Switch is the best place to play it because you can play it portably. You can take it with you wherever you want to go, and that makes it absolutely magical. This is uh, it's the most fun I've had on the Switch since launch day, um, and, and it, it's addictive. Like I just want to keep getting better and better. Let's see if our, our two deaths, our two, I guess, health, uh, not we didn't die, but our two little health chunks Loss are gonna ruin our S rank. We got so many points, 183,000. That's gotta be an S rank. My best combo was 177,000 S rank, baby. That's beautiful. Now, uh, it starts off simple, but once you get to the later levels, uh, we'll go do one that we haven't even played yet. Things get real intense. Quick side note, in the video I referenced Graceful Explosion Machine being available for other platforms. It's actually a timed Switch exclusive. So Thursday, 13 bucks, Nintendo Switch eShop eventually coming to other platforms. So you will be able to play it even if you don't have a Switch. But boy oh boy, is it freaking fantastic on the Switch. And that's where it launches first this Thursday. And I'm also really impressed by how well everything controls, how well everything handles. Whoa there, that's a brand new enemy. This crazy centipede wiggler fool chasing me through is going to be interesting to deal with, but it controls really well. Everything about it, uh, from the way that the weapons work, the lack of any sort of lag uh, as you maneuver around the stages feels great. And then also that ship turn from left to right, left to right to left, it really is quick. And I love the fact that they've made it uh, just the right speed. They also do a nice job of managing the on-screen elements. It never feels too insane. It never feels like you are uh, beaten by the fact that there's just too much going on on screen. Occasionally, if you keep your focus too far off in the distance or too nearby, you will get hit uh, unsuspectedly, unsuspectingly. but it's not because there is too much, right? Like, they do a nice job, I think, of balancing a very chaotic, frenetic, fun-looking game while also, you know, being good to the player and making sure that you know what's going on. Like, it, I feel like their enemy balance uh, is really smart in that it's challenging, it's tough, it keeps you on your toes, but it never feels like, oh my god, I can't see the screen, I can't see my ship, what is going on, I'm dead, I don't even know how. And it does have some similarities to Resogun as well, um, although I find this to be a far more charming and enjoyable and instantly endearing version of that, with a lot more movement, right? Resogun seem to be a lot more about up and down, whereas this has, you know, you're going all over the place. Now you'll notice I didn't get a perfect phase there because a perfect phase means not only do you not get touched, but you also must maintain your combo through the entire phase. You cannot lose any combo, you must keep your combo up, achieve the maximum combo, and that's a perfect phase. So there's high scores, there's score rankings, and then there's also you trying to get uh, these perfect phases. So there's a whole bunch of different levels of difficulty that you can place upon yourself, not to mention the fact that the levels do get more and more challenging as you progress through the game. Not to mention there's also challenge mode. And I know that in 2017 and 2016, in recent years, that indie games are kind of a dime a dozen. It's it's not something that's like a rare occurrence to see like a cool looking indie. And a lot of them end up kind of being like, you know, okay. And, and not, you know, the greatest thing in the world, not the worst thing in the world either. I promise you though, that <laughs> Graceful Explosion Machine is instantly addictive and instantly awesome. And I, I would not be this passionate about it. I don't get this passionate about stuff unless it's really, really awesome. And I, I think that GEM just is the GEM. This is this is the current Switch uh, indie gem, and I love it. And I love that it's brand new, right? Obviously, Isaac, Shovel Knight are fantastic titles, and, and they have a quality that is undeniable, that's for certain. But I, I give this a little bit of an edge, a little bit of an advantage, because of the fact that it's brand new, and because of the fact that it, it, it works so well as a Switch game. It works so well with the Joy-Con. I mean, even playing it split right now, docked, it feels great. I've been playing it all handheld, because of course this is like a great game to bring with you and, and bust out a level or two when you're in the midst of something else. But uh, it, it really is an awesome game to also play docked. It looks good. It looks super crispy both ways. And just to show you, if you're not happy with your run, you can reset and look how quickly you're out. Look how quickly you're out, look how quickly you're back in. That is really important to a game like this. Nailing that is important. You know, the Switch has the capability to have insanely fast load times. And good thing Graceful Explosion Machine took advantage of it because it makes the game all that much better, all that much more recommendable. And again, you mess up, boom, you get out. And this is where the addictive nature comes. Because it's like, oh my god, I want to go for those perfect waves. Oh my god, I want to go 
for those perfect runs. I do not want to settle for an A. I want an S. I don't want to settle for a B. I want an A. I don't want to settle for, oh my god, I almost had a perfect wave. I have to try this again. And it is a game that is a little bit pattern-based in the sense that once you get an idea for where the enemies are going to be, what the geometry of the level is, uh, and, and what kind of strategy you need to take as you move through the vibrancy uh, of the bullets and the explosions, you can better plan out your time. And I found that going back into levels, um, it wasn't like I was randomly getting, you know, better, worse, better, worse. I feel like my skill has improved and I feel like if you choose to go back uh, in time and, and, and return to some levels for some high score challenges or whatnot, I feel like you will be rewarded uh, with a sense of awesomeness and a sense of improvement, a sense of real achievement because you do definitely, uh, you definitely build your skills and it definitely shows in your score. Uh, we got to get this guy here. There we go. Kept my combo. What's great if you get a perfect phase, or even if you just have a big combo towards the end of your phase, is it carries over to the next. So now I start this phase with a 17 times multiplier, which is insane, because normally it would drop down to one, and I have to do everything, you know, again from the beginning. But with this, by maintaining it, by having that perfect phase, I'm able to get insane scores, because there's so many enemies at the beginning of waves. If you're able to go into a new phase or wave or whatever you want to call it, uh, sorry for the interchangeable uh, phrasing there, but if you're able to do that, you then start and take on all the early enemies of the wave, uh, whoa my god, no, with uh, a huge multiplier, and that is where you're going to pick up the most points. Now, these guys are very vicious, and they are nasty, so I'm going to spray them with that. They call it a sniper, but it's more of like your most powerful weapon, and it's best against guys that have shields. Um, it's best to really use uh, when you face someone who's not very happy with you, uh, and that would be the case of those green goblins that fire. Now, this is a dangerous, dangerous run here because we are in bad shape because these guys are tough. You can also dash backwards, and I just love the frenetic, but still like chilled out vibe, right? So the game maintains this really nice, relaxed soundtrack, uh, and that really helps you focus. I feel like they do a nice job of being like, hey, everything's gonna be okay, just focus and explode all of them, right? That's what you're trying to do here, and that is what the name of the game is, and that's what you can do when you're assisted by super fluid controls, amazing music, beautiful graphics and colors, and a really fun weapon system to use. There's only four weapons, but they complement each other so nicely, and they really are absolutely uh, a blast to use as we blast everyone, and we have worked our way to a 36 uh, multiplier here, which is insane. Never had anything this high. This is going to be my high score for sure. We've actually had two perfect phases in a row. I don't know if I can keep it up, but if we can get an absolute full perfect run, how insane would that be? Like going for a total... Oh, and I jinxed myself, but it's okay. We still will get an S rank based on that 30 nine times multiplier that was crazy uh, you eventually get these little healing uh, crystals as you move through the level to help you return to full health it's really hard to die i will say um i don't know if i'm i'm pretty good at the game or what but i, I have only died once and that was very early on when I first got it and was just kind of messing around and learning uh, the abilities, learning the weapons. And they do a nice job of teaching you. It's very upfront about what you need to do. It's very upfront about how the game's going to play. And they build nicely, right? It starts off in World 1 without this much uh, chaos. And then you build. And I cannot wait to see where it goes in the final levels, the later worlds. And uh, let's check out the challenge. When after I beat this, we're getting close to the end of this, uh, this level here. And then we're going to go get a look at the challenge modes and see what that does. I've heard they're really hard. I've never really experienced them myself. Um, so let's definitely do it together. And uh, the base mode itself, totally worth the asking price. And I love that they came in so low. Um, I know it's a simple idea, uh, but they could have charged 20 bucks for this, and I still would have felt great about it. But I think the fact that they went with the, the $13, um, super, super smart. Uh, you know, that, that puts them at... Uh, one of the cheaper outside of the Neo Geo stuff, one of the cheapest things on Switch. Um, and so if you're looking to decide, you know, what should you get, this is a really inviting price point, and it is a wonderful title. And I feel like there's enough content uh, to keep you going. It may look like these are bite-sized levels, but one, you can repeat them for higher scores, which I find great, and two, there's enough here. So that's an S rank. Baby, 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 baby. Um, you can see there are, it looks like four planets. Um, which is cool. So uh, there are four planets of levels, and then you have the challenge modes. Um, so let's check out the challenge mode. Um, there's warp one plus, and there's score attack. So score attack seems like it's going to be how long can you last? Would be my guess. I'm not entirely sure. Or are there different phases? I don't know if there's phases, or we might just be going to see like how long can we survive with an ever spawning uh, amount of enemies. But then I want to check out the warp. Plus, because every at the end of every planet you will go through a warp level, which is like a very trying, uh, very very difficult level where you have to fill up this warp meter in order to head to the next planet. 
Um, so I wonder what Warp Plus is like. I love the little skull icon too. Whoever did the art for this game, like, it's 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 basic. Like, I feel like I could draw like this, but it's it's fine-tuned in a way that... I, I love that they made the enemies very, like, geometric in nature, but still have enough personality that you're like, oh, that's definitely an alien. Oh, I can tell what this is. Oh, I like what this is. Um, I will say that I feel like the the energy sword is the, the go-to, the best weapon. I don't use the missiles that much. I have had any gripe. I wish the missiles were a little more appealing to use, and maybe later on there will be more enemies uh, that, like, spread or, or spawn little versions, and so the missiles become even more of a requirement, because early on, the sniper beam wasn't that, uh, wasn't that necessary, but now, like, as you saw, it's very necessary for certain enemies. That's a perfect phase for us. It makes you feel really good to be good at this game, too, I think. Ooh, look at that. You see the geometry of the level change? It, it's a game that you feel really proud when you do well. It's a game that has a real great sense of satisfaction, um, and that's something that always is hyper-appealing to me about video games. When they can make you feel awesome, or make you feel smart, or make you feel talented, that makes everything all, all the better. And I feel like you are talented if you get high scores in this game, because they push you, uh, and the enemies... It's just it's just fine-tuned so well. It, it really is. So I'm gonna stop gushing about the game, and we're gonna see how high of a score we can get. Um, but but absolute kudos to uh, to the team and to the game, you guys that brought me incredible joy, and you executed this release uh, with absolute absolute grace. Just like in the title, it is a true gem, which I think is 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 funny that the title is is G E M, and the game is a freaking G E M. I like also the rainbow nature of our ship, like how it kind of gets all rainbow fine as you move. Just the little touches like that, the little aesthetics uh, that, that make you remember this game and make it stand out uh, against all of its other indie brethren. Like I said, how many indie games do we see every day on Steam? How many indie games do we see even on the consoles? Rare that one really catches your attention and jumps out at you in, in such a way that makes you say, like, good golly, I want to tell everybody about it. And uh, I am going to be recommending this to anyone that has a Switch. So long as, like, you're okay with this level of, of difficulty, this level of speed, right? Some people want more, um, you know, slower-paced games. They don't want to deal with crazy hand movements, all that kind of stuff. They don't want to deal with being responsible uh, to frenetically fly around the screen, and that's okay. You know, it's not for everyone. But I think as long as you're okay with that style of game, as long as you're familiar with that style of game, I think you're going to fall in love, and I think it's going to be amazing. All right, we've entered the enemy's left part of the show, which is good news for us. And uh, hopefully we can maintain a perfect run through this entire thing. How cool would that be? I think that would be a great way to wrap this video. Uh, and if you guys want to see more, if you think it's cool, let me know. I'll definitely bring you more. I have a blast playing, so I'll be playing. Uh, but I can definitely show you guys if you want. A 40 times multiplier. Can you keep up? Can you keep up? Oh, God, we got to dash this guy. Shoot him. Oh, my God. Perfect phase, perfect level. That is incredible. And there's other modes as well on the other planets uh, to do things. But that, wow. Oh, dang, we got to keep going? Holy crap, you keep going through all of it. That was a perfect level, but it requires even more perfection. My multiplier stays, and we are just rolling our way through a whole, the whole planet almost, which is awesome. The levels are going to bleed into each other, and we're going to just try to keep things up and go for the highest score humanly possible. They do have leaderboards, which is nice. So you can upload it to compare against your friends, compete against the world. And uh, I think, like I said, I think this is an absolute must-buy for Switch. So let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you're going to pick it up. Let me know if this looks like your cup of tea. I'm going to die here just so we can wrap things up. Uh, but it has been a blast sharing this with you. I was so excited once I, uh, I got to play the game and, like, been waiting to really share it with you ever since. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you like it. Give it a chance. Graceful Explosion Machine. It's out this Thursday uh, for the Switch and some other stuff. Uh, but get it on Switch. If you got a Switch, it's, it's really the best there. Um, and, and the Switch is obviously always in need of big big awesome games and this may not be a big game but it sure is an awesome one and to me that is better than being big so i will take awesome over extensively huge any day and the phase is complete and so is the video until next time everyone thanks again for watching fantastic day drink so much i love you all we'll see you all later